Welcome back to my channel. If you cannot tell by the username, my name is Katie. And thank you guys so, so much for being so patient with me. Um, it's been, it's the holiday season right now. Everything is just so, you know, it gets so crazy around the holiday season. So thank you guys so much for, you know, being patient with me. Some of y'all, a few of y'all have been in my DMs cussing me out. So um, I apologize about that, but we is right back on schedule. And today's video, I'm going to go ahead and continue my series with the Macari videos. For you guys that are not aware of what Macari is, Macari is an app that you can download in both the Android and the Apple store. Um, and you can sell any of your items that you may have lying around the house, whether it be clothes, appliances, electronics, the possibilities are endless with the app Macari. Now, this is not limited to Macari. That's just the app that I personally use. So you can use any app as far as Poshmark, eBay, again, any selling app. You can take these tips and tools with you to be successful on those apps. Um, but before we move forward, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And let's go ahead and jump into today's video. All right, so on the last video that I had for you guys, it was pretty generic. Eric, um, I was just giving you some tips to kind of, I guess, create your profile. And these tips are going to be more so as far as what to sell or what does sell on the app. Um, so I have five tips for today's video. Now, if you're interested, I can definitely go ahead and extend out this particular topic. Um, so go ahead and let me know by leaving a comment down below or as always hitting up my Instagram, which is the exact same as my username. That's underscore so underscore Katie. But we're going to go ahead and start off with tip number one. Tip number one is stay away from shoes. Okay. Shoes, for some reason, they don't sell on this app unless they are high luxury brand, uh, high luxury and brands such as Balenciaga, um, your Gucci's, Prada's, Louboutins, things like that. Those are definitely going to sell for you. Um, or if they are like an exclusive launch, um, like when Nike releases like an exclusive shoe that they only make. A certain amount in specific sizes those definitely sell as well um, or if you decide to like bundle baby shoes those definitely sell but anything beyond that it does not sell trust me I've tried it I've only sold one pair of shoes in the I believe I've been on this app now for about a year now I think I've been on this app for a solid year and I've only sold one pair of shoes and I actually lost money from that so it's not anything that you want to put on the app um, in addition to that because shoes are heavy and most likely people are going to ask if you have it for the original boxing and then you're gonna have to put it in another box it's gonna be more expensive to ship shipping a pair of shoes ranges anywhere between nine to eleven dollars depending on the carrier that you use as well as the weight and the size of the shoe so yeah overall it's just not gonna be a good benefit for you unless again it's an exclusive shoe high-end luxury or a baby bundle shoe moving on to tip number two we have have makeup 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 okay makeup sales and we're talking about anything from the high-end luxury brands like um, Gucci's your Lancome your Marc Jacobs Pat McGrath even to your lower ends like ColourPop Morphe NYX and everything in between makeup sales I have sold so much makeup so much skincare in any and all conditions I don't know what it is but makeup sales on the app um, even if you don't believe that it'll sell or if you feel as though it's not up to standards of what you would buy trust and believe it will still sell um, for instance I had two ColourPop um, palettes that I've had for so long I hated them the pigmentation was horrible on those palettes um, 
but because I got them so long ago and they were super cheap and I didn't feel like it was a loss for me I didn't really care to you know do anything so they were just really sitting there um, I actually bundled both of those palettes together I might have only spent like four dollars collectively on the palettes and I earned about ten dollars um, from selling them on Macari and they sold like that literally they sold within three hours of me posting them on the website so makeup and skincare are gonna be like your big money products um, even if you are not a um, makeup connoisseur um, if you have a friend in that industry or that's like really interested or like a big fan of makeup you know go ahead and hit them up when you're in the store especially if you go to places like TJ Maxx Ross um, where you can get discounted makeup you know go ahead and shoot them a text message um, ask them what they think about the product ask them if they think it's a profitable product um, you can kind of collaborate that way with your friends um, you can always what I personally do and I'm gonna make a separate video for this but I'm just kind of giving y'all like a little sneak peek um, but what I personally do if I'm not familiar with the brand or if I'm not a hundred percent confident that it'll sell the way I believe like the way I hope it would um, basically what I'll do is I'll actually get on the app I'll search the product um, I'll look at key factors on there which again I'll go into detail in another video um, I'll also go ahead and search it up on Sephora like if it's a name brand like Dr. Brands, um, Kiehl's, um, again Lancome, Anastasia whatever it may be um, I'll also get on to Sephora's website see what the original price is and that's how I kind of make my decision on if I buy it or not. So um, those are just a few key factors and a sneak peek of my next video to come. But yes, makeup and skincare sales on Macari. Moving on to tip number three teen brands and low-end luxury brands so when i say teen brands to, to me when i say teen brands that can be anything from like pink hollister abercrombie and then when i say low-end luxury brands i mean like coach michael kors anything that's luxury it's a little bit more expensive than like your average purse that you can get it like um a Ross or something, but it's still not up there with the prices of like Louboutins, the Louis Vuittons, the Celine's, the clothes, you know, it's still not up there, but it's still not as low as your average $20 purse, right? Um, those brands sell in any condition, like I kid you not, I've even seen people sell like bundle deals of pink underwear because I thought the trend was over, but apparently people still like, you know, name brands stratted across their chest. Um, they still like to say that they have on pink underwear, you know, even though ain't nobody gonna see it, they, they still like to say it. So anything pink, um, Hollister, anything along those teeny bopper brands, <laughs> they sell. Um, and then as far as the low end, I'm sorry, I got my computer in my notes over here. So that's why I keep looking to the side. Um, but anything as far as like low end brands, like Coach, Michael Kors, they sell. I had a raggedy backpack, a Michael Kors backpack, and I'll tell y'all how raggedy it was. Literally, there was an exposed wire at the corner of the backpack. Um, the handlebar at the top of the backpack, it was coming loose. There was threading that was, again, coming loose from the bag. And there were spots and stains inside of the backpack. I had the backpack for at least a good five or six years now and um, I was just gonna throw it away because I figured nobody wanted it but I ended up being able to sell that backpack on the website for $25 so I'm telling you even if it is in horrible condition as long as you're honest about it as long as you take good pictures with the um, of the item it will sell okay number four men's cologne and really anything for men will sell on Macari. Um, the thing about men is that, well, excuse me, the thing about most men is that if they like something, they're just gonna buy it. So you're not gonna have too much hassling or haggling when it comes to men, unless like, of course, their girlfriend, their wife, and their mom is buying them something, then, you know, you might run into a problem. But if it's a man, um, more than likely, they're not going to haggle you down or your price. Um, they're not gonna ask for a discount um, or anything like that. So that's the good thing about selling men's clothing. Um, 
men's clothing, men's cologne, or anything in those categories. Um, and then oftentimes we do, you know, unfortunately we leave out the men. So if you can sell something on the app that's related to men and you can sell it for a good price, you're probably going to make a killing off that website because I promise you, the only thing that I really see on Macari for men, um, specifically for men, is shoes, which we've already discussed this guys it doesn't really sell and tip number five which is again another big money maker for me on the app trendy plus size clothing um now as you guys know or could imagine it's very hard for plus size women um especially like the younger generation like the junior plus girls to find cute trendy in style clothing so if you have any clothing like that or if you can locate some again you don't even have to be like the things that you're selling you don't necessarily have to it doesn't have to necessarily cater to you so if you can find some trendy plus size clothing um and that goes for either girls or boys Boys, um, definitely go ahead and put it on the app it's going to sell because again a lot of plus size people um, we have a hard time finding things um, to actually fit our bodies that's also cute and comfortable sorry y'all it's like 12 o'clock on a Saturday and they going crazy um, <laughs> So yeah, a lot of times they um, have a hard time finding like cute, trendy, accessible clothes um, in their size. Cause let's face it, in most towns, there's only two plus size clothing stores. One of them's for old people and the second one is Torrid. And Torrid ain't cheap town. Chor Torrid will charge you $100 for some shorts. I, I don't know who they expect to buy their clothing. And um, I hate to say this, but I think they're next on the chopping block. I, I'm just saying, that's just my personal opinion. I think they're next on the chopping block of brick and mortar stores. Anyway, they ain't got nothing to do with this story, with this video that we're shooting right now. So, uh, if you have or if you can find any kind of cute, trendy, plus size clothing, definitely go ahead and sell on the website. Um, again, I have I have a whole nother video, guys, and I'm really excited about that. That video is going to go into depth as far as if you do plan on making this um, like a little side hustle for you and you don't necessarily have the items to do so, where to buy them, where I recommend to buy them, what I look for, um, how to post, how to do pricing. I have a whole video for that, so I'm super excited for that. I might actually break that down to like two or three videos. So I'm excited for this series. Um, I'm so excited to hear you guys' success stories. Um, since I filmed the last video, I think in that video I made $600. I think I, I said that like five or $600. Um, in my current video, like as of now, I've made close to $900. So my methods work, my tips work. I can't wait for you guys to put them in action and let me know your success stories. Um, as always, if you have any kind of questions, concerns, thoughts, anything like that, please leave them down below in the comment section. Or again, hit me up on my Instagram, which is the exact same as my username. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and film another video so that wraps up this one thank you guys so so much for watching today's video thank you so much for your patience thank you for clicking on that thumbnail thank you for your love and support and i'll see you guys on the next one bye i just wanted y'all to get like a really close view of this look because i don't think the camera was really like showing y'all this look like glitter the fuck like what who does she think she is like who does she think she is? Like, what? What? And then I got the press ons that really look real. Like, who is she? <laughs>